In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the differences between the bubbles and smart pop-up view floating notifications on the Samsung Galaxy S24 series. First, let's see how you can get to these settings. Uh, first, tap on the home button to go back to the home screen. Then swipe down at the top and tap on the settings icon. Now in the settings page, we scroll down and then tap on notifications. In here, tap on advanced settings. Then we go down and tap on floating notifications. Next from here, you can choose between bubbles and smart pop-up view. Now I said that if you select bubbles, if you choose bubbles, notifications for compatible conversation will include an icon. You can tap to change the conversation to bubble view. So here, if I send myself a text, I will receive a bubble uh, notifications. Now, because I have already converted to a bubble view, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to turn it off. And we start from the beginning. So I'm just going to close, delete that. And I'll go back into settings. I go back into conversations. I go in here and I'm going to turn off this bubble, bubble this conversation. I'm going to turn it off. And you can see back in here, I'm still sitting, uh, my floating notifications still set to bubbles. But this time, if I send myself a text message, there will be a pop up. From this pop up, I could choose to view it as a bubble. So I tap on that small icon there at the bottom corner, or I can open it from my, from the status bar. So I tap on that and now that converts that notification into a bubble view. So in bubble views, I can open and tap on it to close it. It will always be around the screen uh, unless I drag it to the bottom here to close it. But the next time the person send me a text, it will always open up as a pop-up, uh, as a bubble view. So that is the bubbles uh, floating notifications. And now for smart pop-up view, uh, when you select that, you need to include the apps uh, in here to use the smart pop-up view. So in the list, I'm going to select messages and WhatsApp and uh, some other apps as well as, uh, as, well as uh, Facebook Messenger and Google Messages. So those apps has been switched on. Now, if I send myself a text, you can see it will still show a pop-up, but they are different in that uh, I need to tap on it to open up the floating uh, window right here uh, to close it. I cannot just tap anywhere on a screen to close it. It doesn't work. As you can see, if I want to close that window, I need to tap on the bar there and then I can uh, minimize it. I can tap on it to expand. I can tap on the close button to close it or I can uh, open up into a split screen like that. And here, I'm going to send myself another text and I can close it so I can tap on it and tap on the close button again so that is the differences between the smart power view so here in smart power view receive notifications as icons that can be tapped to expand uh, and expand it into a power view for bubbles uh, you can uh, it's here for bubbles if you choose bubble notifications for compatible compatible conversation will include an icon that you can tap to change the conversation to bubble view so they are very similar, but there are some minor differences between the two. And that's it. And once it is in a conversation view, you can go to conversations. And in here, you can also uh, edit that conversations. You can customize how it is uh, displayed on the screen. So you can set the priority alert or silent uh, for that uh, pop-up conversation. And you can choose, you can set bubble uh, settings for this app. And here you can choose whether to show as pop-up or not. You can also change the sound for that particular conversation. And that's it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos.